In this video, we are going to review the steps for preparation and application of the Invasive Blood Pressure Wireless Pod for the 3880 MRI Patient Monitor System. We will focus on preparing the monitor configuration for invasive blood pressure, setting labels, and connecting transducers. Prior to attempting to monitor invasive blood pressure, ensure that all 3880 system components are sufficiently charged and that all components are communicating on a compatible wireless channel. Please review video one if additional preparation information is required. The invasive blood pressure readings will be displayed in the various color-coded sections below the ECG section on the patient monitor. Here, the user will see the blood pressure readings, the blood pressure waveform, dynamic trends, and alarm limits. Step one, ensuring monitor configuration. Before the invasive blood pressure pod can be used correctly, the invasive blood pressure section needs to be activated under the parameter setup function located under the settings menu. First, the user will push the settings button located on the front of the monitor. The user will push the parameter setup button and will then press IBP1 and or IBP2. Once the user has selected IBP1 or 2, press the back button twice. The monitor is now ready to measure blood pressure invasively. Step 2. Setting labels and connecting transducers. For the next step, the user will select the label of the IBP reading. The user will click the IBP box on the monitor and select the label type. The user will select the most appropriate label depending on the placement of the invasive line on the patient. To connect the transducer components, the user will grip the IP pod's connector in one hand and the transducer's connector in the other. The user will insert the transducer's connector into the IP pod's connector that matches the label and push until a snug fit is established. The next step is for the user to follow their current policy for priming an invasive line. The user will now calibrate the invasive system to zero. The user will open the transducer to room air Select the IBP1 or IBP2 vital sign box that corresponds with the IBP line and then press the Cal0 button on the IBP menu. This will calibrate the system to zero. Once the system has been calibrated, press the back button to return to the monitor screen. The user will then close the transducer to start readings. As a best practice, it is recommended to keep the transducer out of the bore to avoid artifacts. Additionally, it is also a best practice to keep the IP pod and transducer at heart level to ensure accurate readings. For more information, visit www.iratamed.com. For technical support, please call 407-677-8022.